so let us start a new experiment from 11th standard coefficient of static friction m to study the relation between force of limiting friction and a normal reaction and to determine coefficient of static friction between a block and a horizontal surface to perform this experiment we should have some instruments let us see one by one what are the instruments which are necessary so this is called as inclined plane this typical surface is called as in scientific language inclined plane we require a wooden block we require a string and this string is allowed to pass over the pulley like this which rotates and connected to the pan so pan pulley inclined plane wooden block and these are the weights we require weights for the measurement we require formula see formula is here mu is equal to p upon w mu indicates coefficient of static friction w indicates total weight on the block and third part p horizontal force required to move the block along the surface so from this formula it is possible to construct the observation table so clearly this mu s depends upon p and w so one column related to p second column connected to w and from this it is possible to find out mu so three important columns are there first is p second is w and third is mu s to find out w we add some weight on the block so w1 then w so w is the combination of weight on the block plus weight of the block then p p indicates force required to move the block along the surface so this p is a combination of p0 that means weight of the pan plus weight added in the weight p1 so w p and mu s so to find out w we require w1 so one more column is added here and to find out p we require p1 so one more column is added here so from this formula it is possible to construct the observation table diagram this diagram is also necessary in your examination one mark is reserved for the formula one mark for the diagram so this diagram with labeling is also important let us see observations mass of the block this block is weighted and is supplied that weight of this block is 100 gram so 100 gram weight is the value of the weight of this block mass of the pan p0 this mass of this pan also measured in laboratory and is given as 25 gram weight so value of g 980 in series system in sr system 9.8 meter per second square but in series system it is 980 let us see actual experiment so first of all place this wooden block on the inclined plane now see this instrument here string is allowed to pass over the pulley and connected to the pan let us see precautions while performing the experiment in examination normally a examiner a teacher asks which care we should take while performing the experiment so this care should be taken this pan should not touch to the walls of the table that means it should be freely hanging second thing the string from the pulley to the wooden block should be as far as possible straight line parallel to the horizontal surface should be there there are the precautions necessary let us see actual experiment first step see weight on the block in this case first study nothing is there so i can say that weight on the block is zero i'll mention here zero now total weight or load w is equal to w0 plus w1 w0 is known to us 100 100 plus 0 that means 100 plus 0 is equal to 100 let us see how to find out p1 
we want to find out weight in the pan minimum weight in the pan where the block just begins to slide we'll start from 1 gram weight introduce gently in the pan this 1 gram weight and observe here it is not moving so we require one more gram 1 plus 1 2 so i'll take 2 gram weight i'll introduce now 2 gram weight in the pan and you observe here is it moving or not moving not moving so again add 1 gram weight so in this way increase the weight by 1 1 gram now we take 2 plus 2 4 this 2 plus 2 4 not moving yes moving yes so you want to find out that typical minimum weight in the pan where block just begins to slide that weight you want to measure now we have measured 2 plus 2 4 at the weight 4 gram weight at that time the block is just disturb move so we got 4 Value of P one is four. Weight in the pan. P P zero plus P one. P zero is known to us. Twenty five plus four is equal to twenty nine. So here P upon W. Last column. Mu s depends upon P and W. So twenty nine upon hundred. Twenty nine upon hundred. That is equal to zero point twenty nine. So first reading is completed here. Now second reading. Again, take the block to its initial position, starting position, and then weight on the block. I introduce five gram weight. Weight on the block is five. So mention here mass on the block five gram. So total load, total weight, W is equal to W zero plus W one. That means hundred plus five. So we get one zero five. Then we want to find out. that weight in the pan where block just begins to slide it is observed that as weight on the block increases weight in the pan also increases so we require 4 plus 1 that means 5 i'll introduce 5 gram weight in the pan very gently slowly and observe the motion of the block is it moving not moving so introduce now one more gram 6 not moving so i introduce now Seven, five plus two seven. Is it moving? Not moving. Now add one more. Now seven, five plus two seven plus eight, five plus two seven, and this is eight. Now I introduce nine gram weight. Five plus two plus two four. Is it moving? Not moving. Now ten, one gram more weight. Not moving. So when weight is ten gram, it is not moving. So I introduce ten plus one, eleven. Ten plus one. Yes, it is moving. So we want to find out that weight where block just begins to slide. So eleven. Weight in the pan is ten plus one. That means eleven. So we got this column twenty five plus eleven. That means thirty six. So thirty six upon one zero five. You want to find out this? Now second reading, ten gram. Now in place of five, again go to the starting position, initial position, and introduce the ten gram weight on the block. So I can say that here first column. Weight, mass on the block, ten gram. Total load, W, W zero plus W one, W zero hundred. So hundred plus ten is equal to one one zero. So we want to find out that weight in the pan where block just begins to slide. So I'll start from twelve onwards. So ten plus two, twelve. Very gently place in the pan. And observe motion. It is not moving. Again, add one more gram and observe motion. 
not moving. So in place of one, I introduce two gram weight. So ten plus two plus two, fourteen gram weight is there, not moving. Introduce one more gram. Now not moving. So in place of ten, this is fifteen. So five plus one, sixteen. I'll introduce sixteen gram weight in the pan. Not moving. So again, in place of one, I'll introduce two gram weight. Not moving. Again, introduce one gram weight. Not moving. So again, I'll increase by one one gram. Not moving. Again, introduce one more gram. Yes, slightly it was moving. Yes, it is slightly moving. So I can say that weight in the pan is ten plus five fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty. When weight is twenty, we got this. So twenty five plus twenty that means forty five. So again, last column P upon W forty five upon one one zero one one zero. This we want to find out. The last heading fifteen gram. So again, initial position. Again, block starting position, and on the block we place ten plus five, fifteen grams. So here W one fifteen. Next column is total load, hundred plus fifteen is equal to one one five. Now we want to find out weight in the pan. So generally, as weight on the block increases, weight in the pan also increases. So we'll start from twenty one onwards. So twenty plus one. I'll press gently in the pan and observe the motion. Yes, it is moving. So I can say that twenty one. So we get twenty five plus twenty one. That means forty six. So forty six upon one one five. This we want to find. So we have find out the ratio of P upon W, 20 upon 100, point 29, then 36 upon 105, point 34, 45 upon 110, 0.40, 46 upon 115, 0.4. Find out mean of this. Mean means what? This plus this plus this plus this divided by 4. So we got 0.3575 value of mu is final answer. So here we write 0.3575 by calculation. Now product. Now let us see. How to plot the graph? See, graph nature is shown here. On x-axis we take W. On y-axis we take P. So here we draw one axis, x-axis. Second is y-axis. On x-axis we write W. Y-axis we write P. In bracket proper unit. Gram weight, gram weight. Now choose a scale which contains all the readings. So this is W. Start from hundred to one one five. So select a scale which contains all the readings. So we'll start from ten. So take neighboring two digits. What you observe here? Difference is always ten. This minus this ten. This minus this ten. So scale one same is equal to ten gram weight. So increase by ten, 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 ten. Similarly here on y-axis, see P. P start from twenty nine, ends on forty six. So choose a scale which contains all the digits. So ten, ten, ten. So scale is ten gram weight. Now points. When it is hundred, at that time we got. Twenty-nine. So hundred. At that time, we got twenty-nine. Point. Make a circle. Second point. When it is one zero five, we got thirty-six. One zero five. Midpoint of hundred and one zero one one zero. This is one zero five. We got thirty-five. Thirty-six. Point is here. Make dot. Make a circle. Third. When it is one one five, one one zero. At that time, we got forty-five. One one zero is here. Forty-five midpoint. Make a dot. Make a circle. Last point. Where it is one one five. We got forty-six. So one one five is here. Midpoint of this and this point. Forty-six point dot. Make a circle. So draw a straight line. See the nature of the graph should be straight line passing through origin. So this is origin. So draw a line which passes almost minimum two points. 
So here we can draw a line like this. So this indicates that straight line passing through origin. That means x proportional to y. That means w proportional to p. So I can say that w proportional to p, or we can say that w is equal to mu into p, or we can say that mu is equal to w upon sorry p proportional to w. So p proportional to this. So mu is equal to p upon w. This is the formula. So we got this equation. So graph is drawn here. Take simplest two points on the line and find out the slope. Simplest point. I can take this as simplest point x1 y1 and this is x2 y2. Draw a triangle. So this triangle indicates that we have taken these two points to find out the slope. Slope. Formula is that y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. What is y2? Y2 is here. Midpoint of 13.45. That means 35. 35 divided by now x2. Here 85. See y1 is 20, 35 minus 20. x2. x2 is 85. Minus what is x1? 50. So what we get? Numerator y2. 35 y1 here y1 is there 20 35 minus 20 x2 here 85 x1 x1 50 so this subtraction what we get 15 upon if we subtract this we get 35 so 15 upon 35 we get the answer around so we got ratio this is called as coefficient of study friction mu so this value comes up to 0 0.42 so with the help of graph we got 0 0.42 and with the help of calculation we got 0 0.35 so in your journal title aim apparatus formula diagram then this observations observation 1 2 3 this table then show calculation at least one calculation you have to show then graph and then result these are important points